what is up everybody welcome back to my youtube channel i am alexis Ada. if you are new and thank you so much for tuning in to today's video Now this is a very impromptu video. I had no plans on recording this video, but lately I've been getting attacked by the enemy like no other. Like I've been experiencing spiritual warfare like no other. And when I tell you he's been coming in all forms, he's literally been attacking me from all areas of my life. And I just came to God today and I was just like, I really need comfort. Like, I really need comfort. I really need a cleansing. Like, I really just need you to show that you're here with me because I'm just feeling like, like weary. I'm, I'm, it's like I'm starting to feel weary. But then that word have I hidden in my heart so that I won't sin against thee. Galatians 6 and 9, be not weary and well doing for you will reap a harvest if you faint not. And I can totally identify with so many people. Like, being a Christian, it's not easy. It is not for the faint at heart. And lately... The enemy has just been showing me how real he really is, but God also has been showing me how faithful he really is. And I just encourage everybody that's battling any type of battles in life, any type of spiritual warfare, lean on God. Proverbs 3, 5, and 6 says, trust in the Lord with all your heart. Lean not unto your own understanding, but acknowledge him in all your ways. Please, y'all, acknowledge God in all your ways. Like, I've been tried so many times, and I've been given a multiplicity of opportunities to fall, like, fall victim to sin and fall victim to just, like, behavior that opposes, like, my walk. And it's just, like, I've been like, uh-uh. Uh-uh. Like, you really got to stand up to the enemy and, like, go to war with him and be like, okay, yeah, no, we're not doing that. We're not doing that. You know what I'm saying? So... It's just been really like hard for me lately and I was in my devotion this morning and I was reading one of my devotions and it was talking about the mind like how we should think of things that are pure and that are like just and I really was like God somebody else needs to hear this because I needed this so bad this morning like one of the main areas the enemy has been attacking me is in my mind and it's like I need my mind to execute my ministry so and he knows that so it's like he's just been like attacking me left and right in the mind and it's been a true true roller coaster but in my devotion God revealed to me that um I'm actually gonna put it on the screen yeah, I think I'm going to like put it on the screen, like the notes that I've taken. And basically, God was just revealing to me that he's pruning me and um, he's strengthening my character and my faith. And he is nurturing me and preparing for me to blossom. And it's going to be sunshine and rain that helps me grow. And true joy transcends the rolling waves of circumstances. Joy comes from a consistent relationship with God. So it's just like, when you have God, you don't need nothing else. God will keep you level-headed in all circumstance. He will keep you level-headed in all circumstance. No matter how high-headed you may get, he going to be there to bring you back. And that's what I love so much about God is that we may get out of character sometimes. We may be provoked and all these things, but God is always there to bring us back. But this only happens when we have a true relationship with him. You get what I'm saying? Don't neglect spending time with God because of your circumstances. That's the time we need him the most. You know, when we're like down and out vulnerable and just like, just weary, just going through it. That's when we need him the most. I'm going to read my devotional to you all today. And I really, really hope this blesses somebody because it really blessed me and I really needed it. I really needed it. So here we go. So today I'll be reading from the Daily Decree. This is one of my all time favorite. And today's devotion reads thoughts of purity and virtue. I'm going to decree and declare it over your life because the enemy, he's not hiding. He's not hiding. You know, he's attacking us from all areas and I rebuke him in the name of Jesus. And I plead the blood of Jesus over my life and your life right here, right now. God is in this place. Okay. God is in this place. And this word that I'm about to give you, I want you to hold it so near and dear to your heart. And I want you to come back to this video, save it, screen record it, whatever you got to do. 
whenever you feel like you're getting off track and God and the enemy is trying to corrupt your mind with thoughts that oppose the word of God, I need you to put this back in your spirit. Replenish yourself with the word of God when the enemy is attacking you. Today we speak a cleansing over your mind. We decree every thought is captive to the rule of Jesus Christ. We say all thoughts of impurity, all thoughts of godlessness, fear, and unbelief must dissipate. We say unhappy and undesirable imaginations must leave your mind and be replaced with that which is pure, that which is lovely, life-giving, and filled with peace. We say that every attack of the enemy that would demonically come to bombard your thoughts with that which opposes truth and godliness are bound in the name of Jesus. We command every evil thought to get out of your mind. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. We command every evil thought, every evil thought, every evil thought. Come on, God, every evil thought to get out of your mind. We command every evil thought to be removed from your dreams. We command every evil thought to go from your thinking. We call for a divine saturation of your mind and thoughts by the Holy Spirit of the Lord. We decree you are able to think of a good outcome for every circumstance. Glory be to God. We decree and declare you are able to think of a good outcome for every circumstance, good or bad, good or bad, and that you have the capacity to imagine the light at the end of the tunnel. We prophesy, we prophesy, we prophesy that you can always always picture a good report we say your thoughts are blessed we say your thoughts are pure we say that your thoughts are filled with the life in jesus name in jesus name i bind every attack of the enemy right now in the name of jesus i bind every demonic voice i bind every demonic spirit i bind every demonic plan i cancel every attack of the enemy i cancel every scheme of the enemy i cancel every setup of the enemy i bind you devil in the name of jesus i plead the blood of jesus over your life i plead the blood of jesus over my life i pleaded i pleaded greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world devil you can't have my mind because god got me devil you can't have my family because god got me devil you can't have my ministry because god got me because god got me because god got me greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world god has anointed me god has anointed you and appointed you for a time such as this don't you let the devil have a stronghold on you don't you let the enemy win God has given you authority. God has given you dominion over the enemy. I bind every attack of the enemy. I bind it. I bind it. I bind it. I bind it. The enemy knows what you carry. The enemy wants you to be intimidated by the weight of the anointing. The enemy wants you to be intimidated by the pressure of the anointing. But I promise you, glory be to God, there is pressure and purpose. You can't have purpose without pressure. You can't have purpose without pressure. You can't be strengthened without getting stretched. Glory be to God. I bind you, devil. I bind you. I bind you in the name of Jesus. I plead the blood of Jesus over your life. Your mind is blessed. Your family is blessed. Your body is blessed. Your mouth is blessed. Your speech is blessed. Your thoughts are blessed. Your heart is blessed. Your spirit is blessed. Your soul is blessed. I bind it, devil. I bind it. I bind it. I bind it. I bind it. Greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. Greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. Devil, you can't have my mind. You can't have my mind. He know when I show up, we going to war. You can't have my mind, devil. You can't have it. You can't have it you gonna lose my people today devil you gonna lose my people today i ain't having it i ain't having it greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world i bind every attack of the enemy right now in the name of jesus your mind is blessed don't you allow the enemy to have a foothold on you he wants you to be intimidated by the weight he wants you to be intimidated by the pressure but greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world i bind it i bind it i bind it i cancel every attack of the enemy right now in the name of Jesus. God has given you authority. God has given you dominion to wage the powers of evil. He's given it to you, Luke 10 and 19. He's given you that authority. Activate that authority that God has given you. You better walk in the abundance of Jesus. You better walk in the authority. You better walk in the glory of God. Walk in it. Walk in it. You don't let the devil take a foothold on you. You better walk in that authority. Walk in that authority. I bind you, devil. You got the right one today. You got the right one today. I bind it. 
I bind it. I speak a cleansing over your mind. I speak a cleansing over your spirit. I speak a cleansing over your speech. Receive it, 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 receive it. Lift your hands up and receive this. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. This is a posture of receiving. This is a posture of surrendering. Surrender all to God. All the power belongs to God. All the glory belongs to God. All the honor belongs to God. All of the praise belongs to God. Devil, I rebuke you. In the name of Jesus, I command every demonic spirit, I command every demonic voice, I command every demonic attack to leave. To leave, I cancel it. In the name of Jesus, I cancel it. Every time you have a negative thought, a thought that opposes the word of God, you got to speak. You got to speak life. Cast down those negative thoughts and implement a thought of, of goodness. Implement a thought of love. Implement a thought of glory. Implement a thought of honor and praise to the king. To the king. Don't you let the enemy win.